Hey guys, so today we're gonna to be making my version of a California classic, the fish taco. Now, wherever you go in California, you're bound to find one of these on the menu. Beer battered fish and a really nice tangy sauce, you're gonna love it. My name is Jay and this is Broil LA. So the first thing we need to do is to get started on our sauce. So to food processor, I'm gonna add about a half cup of sour cream, a half cup of mayonnaise, a tablespoon of agave, one clove of garlic, and one whole chipotle in adobo sauce with the sauce, and the juice of one lime. Add some salt, and a lot of fresh cracked black pepper, and then we're gonna blend this all together. All right, so the next thing we need to get started on is our cabbage slaw. So I have half of a head of red cabbage, and I'm gonna thinly slice the whole thing after removing the tough part in the middle. So we're gonna marinate this cabbage with the juice of two limes. What I have here is a whole filet of rockfish, if you aren't able to find rockfish, tilapia is perfectly acceptable. And I'm gonna cut this into thinner strips. So for the batter for our fish, I have three quarters of a cup of flour, a quarter cup of cornstarch, and to that I'm gonna add a tablespoon of paprika, a teaspoon of salt, and a whole 12 ounce bottle of beer. Make sure to whisk this really well. So while I've been prepping the fish, I've had three cups of vegetable oil heating over medium heat in this pot, and you can start to see some ripples on the bottom of the pan, and when you put flour into it, it'll start to fizz. So this recipe works really great for both fish and shrimp, and that's what I'm gonna do here. So to fry these fish, first I'm going to salt and pepper both sides. And then the fish goes into a bowl of cornstarch, then our batter, then the oil. So we're gonna fry this one to two minutes per side until it's golden brown, and then I'm gonna move it over to a drying rack. And then we're gonna hit these with some salt. Now, if I threw you off with the cornstarch, listen to this. The cornstarch really makes it light and fluffy and really crispy. So I'm gonna heat up these tortillas over a burner, just a couple seconds per side just to get them warmed. Now, I actually have flour tortillas. Now, I think corn tortillas are more traditional, but I just like flour ones better. All right, so to assemble the taco, first we're going to put our sauce in the tortilla. Make sure to get a good amount in there. And then our fish or shrimp. and then our cabbage, then a couple sprigs of cilantro. The sauce and the crispiness on the shrimp, and then the lime juice in the cabbage really balance out each other. This is a really good dish. Make sure to give this video a like and subscribe to our channel to check out our other videos. My name is Jay and this is Broil LA.